Hello there. This is the family doctor. Drug Company? Yes. Oh, hello, Miss Adams. No, the doctor ain't here. No, I ain't seen him all morning. Yes, sure thing you know. I'll tell him to call you the minute he comes in. Yes. All right. Oh, that's okie dokie. Yeah, goodbye. Now, let me see. One gal of glycerin, two gals of wood alky, two gals of regular alky. Guess that's all I need this week from the wholesale. Yeah? Oh, hello, Doc Adams. Uh, hello, Pete. Whew. Uh, let me sit down and rest a minute, will you? Sure thing you know, Doc. Help yourself. <sighs> the stools is all vacant. A little too early for the young ladies from the high school to drop in for their daily double Sundays. <laughs> yes. Uh. Hey, what's the matter, Doc? You look all plum tuckered out. Uh, I am, Pete. Walked all the way from Jim Lunsberg garage this morning. You did? Well, I'll be plowed for a furrow. What fur? Well, I'm having some work done on my car, and I won't be able to get it till this evening. Oh, I see. You know, Doc, I've been thinking. No. Yes. And I've been thinking you should ought to be getting a new automobile pretty soon. Ah, that's what you've been thinking, is it? Yes, I have. Is that so? Well, what's the trouble, Doc? You ain't taking no offense at the suggestion, are you? Oh, no, Pete, that's all right. That's one thing about you. If anybody in Cedarton ever wants any free advice, they can certainly get it at May's Drugstore. Yes, I guess you're right. Well, do you know why I've been thinking you should ought to buy yourself a new automobile? No. I'd certainly be interested in finding out. Well, this is the reason. The folks of Cedarton and all the surrounding territory, you might say, all of them depend on you for medical attention. Mm -hmm. And if anything ever happened to you in that old wreck you got now, why, something awful might take place. Somebody might die while you're getting to him. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you don't seem to be very interested. I'm not, Pete. Not the least bit. Oh, I see. Uh, that car of mine has stood up for five years, and there's still a lot of good mileage in her yet. Well, maybe. You know, I take care of my car just like I advise my patients to take care of the human system. Careful attention, careful driving, no excess of speed, watch the rattles and squeaks, and take care of them before they get worse. That's all there is to it. Oh, swell. You know, Doc, it's always appeared to me that there was a heap of difference between an automobile and the human system. <laughs> Pete, you're incorrigible. Huh? Who, me? Uh, oh, now, Doc, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, uh, say, I plum forgot. Yeah, what's the matter? I don't know whether it's important or not, but Ms. Adams phoned up here for you a mighty go. She did? Well, yeah. gosh, to Friday, why didn't you tell me? Gollies, Doc, I forgot. Forgot? Pete May, you're the forgettingest man in Cedarton. Let me use your phone. Sure, Doc. Go ahead. Hey, this is Dr. Adams, Alice. Uh, ring my house for me, will you please? Thanks. Uh, hello, honey. Uh, this is Grant. What? Oh, say, now that's that's too bad. Uh, why, of course, I'll go right... Wait a minute, I forgot. I haven't got my car. If you want me to drive you, Doc... Wait, Pete. When did you hear about it, Lou? 
I see. Well, hello, all right then. Uh, Mr. May says he'll drive me up there. Yeah, all right, honey. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, what is it, Doc? Somebody sick bad? Uh, it's Griff Miller. Huh? I told him two weeks ago to watch the kind of work he did around his place. He's fallen off the roof of his boathouse. Ah. And Mrs. Adams says that Mrs. Maynard phoned that one of the twins was up there and he... Uh, so, oh, well, never mind. Let's get on our way. Griff needs help badly. A uh, sure thing you know, Doc. Wait a sec till I get my apron off and my coat on. Gosh, that's too bad. Poor old Griff. Mm, lucky thing Pete could drive me up in his car. Uh, come on, Pete. What are you doing? All set, Doc. All set. Well, let's go. <laughs> Did Ms. Adams say what was wrong with Griff? No. She just said that one of the Maynard twins said he'd fallen and he had to be helped into the house. He shouldn't ought to do that kind of work now that he's got that mine ahead. Yeah, that's what I told him. And he just wouldn't pay any attention to me. Said that... Say, 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 Pete, what's wrong with this car? Golly's don't know, Doc. He was all right this morning. Well, come on. Let's get out and find out. Huh. Can't figure out what's the trouble. Uh, of course you can. Take the hood off. Oh yeah, sure. Oh gollies, I plumb forgot. There ain't any hinge pins in that hood. Well now, let me see. Huh? There might be the timer. Wonder if all the spark plugs is okay. Hand me that screwdriver under the front seat, Doc. Huh? Uh, 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 here you are. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that one's Jim Dandy. Now, let me see. Uh, uh, and that's okay. Uh, you would have an all-metal screwdriver. Well, I guess these plugs are all right. Now, it might be the carburetor. Maybe I better take it apart. Oh, gosh, the Friday, Pete. How long will that take? Maybe I should ought to try some other things first. Yes, please do. Oh, well... Uh, let me try starting her again, Doc. Maybe she'll go by now. She does this every once in a while. All right, but please hurry, Pete. Don't forget old Griff Miller's lying up there in his cabin. There she is, Doc. Hop in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wait a sec, Doc. I forgot to put the hood back on. Oh, oh bother the hood. Let's get going. Okay, dokie. Just as you say, Doc. Yeah, it's just like you say, Doc. Griff Miller shouldn't ought to keep on doing such heavy work. Huh. What say, Doc? I said, huh. Oh, yeah. I just wondered how much he got out of that gold mine of his. I haven't the slightest idea. Can't you make this thing go any faster, Pete? Nope. Going uphill now. This is all she'll make. Just about 18. Uh, of course, I would have to make a trip like this. Away up to the lake. On the very day I put my car in the garage. Yes, Doc, that's life for you. Not for me. What's that? I said... Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, oh, there she goes again, I reckon. Oh, gosh, stuff Friday. Yeah. Well, might as well take another look. Well, a lot of good that's going to do. I'll sit right here. All right, Doc. I'll have her fixed up again in a jiffy. Oh, golly. What's the matter now? I left the screwdriver back in the road yonder. Oh... Well, I'll give you one of my good scalpels. Here. Now, see what damage you can do with that. Not as much as you can, I'll bet you, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, why don't you turn off the ignition? That's it, Doc. What? This wire here, see? It's all uncovered. Insulation's wore off. And I ain't got any tape. Uh, here. Here's some adhesive tape. Oh, thanks, Doc. Don't know what I'd do without you on this trip. No. But I know what I'll do because of you on this trip. What, Doc? Contract a violent case of nervous prostration. Just think, poor old Griff up there suffering on death's bed, perhaps. There she you... is, Doc. Let's try her again. <laughs> Whee! There she is. Fit of a fiddle. Well, here we go. I got it. What say, Doc? Never mind. Just drive. <laughs> Gollies, I'm sorry, Doc, but there's just nothing I can do about it. Pete May, this is the, the sixth time this, this threshing machine of yours has stopped. Now, what I want to know is, do you... Oh, never mind. What can we do now? Well, I'll tell you. 
Down at the bottom of the next hill is Miller's Lake. If we could push the buggy to the top of the hill, she'd roll clear down to Griff's boathouse. All right. All right, anything to get going. And it might help if you take the brake off. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure thing. Uh, 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 all right, Doc. How close are we to the top of the hill? I don't know. Just, just push. Uh, uh, here we are, Doc. Hop in quick. Uh, uh. Hey, you, you you don't have to go so fast now. Another few seconds won't matter. Can't help it, Doc. You ain't got hardly no break. Oh. Are you okay, Doc? Yeah, yes, of course. Oh, I hope Griff isn't any worse. Here, I'll go up with you. Never mind, I don't need any. Hey, Doc. Huh? Look. What are you talking about? Over there is Griff Miller working on his boats. What? Well, well, I bet... Let me talk to him. Hey, Griff! Who's that? Oh, well, Doc Adams and Pete May. How are you? Griff Miller, I thought you fell off the roof of your boathouse. Uh, yep, I did. Not on purpose, though. Well, I thought I'd find you with five cracked ribs and a brain concussion. Oh, no, no. They can't kill off old Griff. And you don't need any medical attention, eh? Medical attention? Oh, no, no, thank you, Doc. No, uh, thought I might need some this morning, but uh, that was three hours ago. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Well, call me if you need me again, Griff. Yeah. And next time, I'll try to get here on time. Hey, hey, Doc, uh, where are you going? Back to town to get my car from Jim Lundberg. I'm going to walk, and the next time I haven't got my car, I'm going to borrow your bicycle. <laughs> Say, Griff, yeah, yeah. ain't Doc Adams a funny fella? This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs>